we have entered the festive season marking the concluding days of 2023. While several cryptos gave their investors profits with Santa rallies, a few others, including DYDX, reacted differently. And that's because of then, obviously, how would show their international effort were to be unfaced and cycly, then we have to get a little bit of one thing. Uh, Sanimit recently posted a tweet highlighting the behavior of a few cryptos. As per the tweet, DYDX and several other coins had witnessed a substantial rise in negative sentiment. Uh, um, if history is to be uh, considered, uh, such incidents are often followed by prank sponsors. Um, as markets head into Christmas break, the coins that have been seeing particularly extreme negative sentiment include storage, ILV, LTC, DYDX. Historically, the assets with the most FUD correlate and with high likelihood of price bounces. Uh, sentiment, December 20, uh, 23rd, 2023, not only DYDX for that matter, but NBC Crypto earlier reported that a similar trend was also seen for Litecoin. Our analysis found that LTC's weighted sentiment was down to Paul bed. Next month, uh, coming back to DYDX though, the, a drop in weight in sentiment can generally be perceived as a bearish signal. This time, things were different. Uh, according to CoinMarketCat, the token was up uh, by more than 4% in the last seven days alone. At the time of writing, uh, it was trading at $3.14. Uh, however, its trading volume uh, dropped, signifying the reluctance of investors to trade the token. And, you know, since the increase of its FUD, um, ANBC Crypto checked the, 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 the token supply to see whether there was a sell-off. Um, and our analysis found that investors were still buying the token. Uh, but this was uh, evident from the fact that uh, the token supply on exchanges uh, plummeted sharply. Uh, while its, uh, while its uh, supply outside of exchanges increased. And nonetheless, Wales uh, did not show much confidence in the token uh, as the supply held by type addresses uh, declined at the time uh, of the report. The, upon further digging, AMB Crypto found that DYDX did witness a hike in liquidation in the recent past. Our analysis of High Block Capital's data pointed out that investors sold their holdings when the token's price touch the three dollars and thirty eight cents mark even if the token manages to continue its upward price movement it has to first go past this barrier um, to push its price uh, further um, and the possibility of DYDX sustaining its growth momentum seemed likely if on-chain metrics were to be considered for example the tokens MVRV ratio went up on the 21st of December and um, other positive metrics include DYDX's transaction count and daily active addresses, which remained relatively high throughout the last week. And to better understand what to expect from the token and the crypto, looked at the token's daily chart. The token's money flow index registered an uptick and was headed further away from the, the neutral mark. Realistic or not, here's DYDX's market cap and BTC's terms. Its checking money flow also somewhat rested above the neutral zone, increasing the chances of a price uptrend. However, the Bollinger Bands told a different story as per the indicator DYDX's price was in a highly compressed zone which could restrict its price from moving up in the days to come.